Hello, my Zentangle friends. Welcome back to another video for Inktober Tangles 2023. Today's pattern is Day 19, Knightsbridge by Zentangle. And if this is your first time seeing these videos, I encourage you to go to my introductory videos and Day 1 video for Inktober uh, 2023 tangles so that you know the history of it and why we're doing this. It's just to put ink to paper once a day, every day in October. But again, it's an encouragement. It's not a contest. Just have fun with it. Okay, this is my homemade sketchbook. If you're interested in how I did that, there is a link in the description. And I just do practice on other sheets of paper and in my sketchbook so that I can show you ideas for this. Okay? Uh, we are using a Zentangle tile. Okay? Three and a half inch tile that we have put together with the pattern W2. But, of course, you don't have to do that. You can do anything that you like on any paper, with any pen, and just enjoy drawing, okay? Knightsbridge is one of the original 102 Tangles by Zentangle. It's very easy. It's just a grid like a checkerboard, but there's different ways that you can do it. I've shown a few here. This is one that I did on a, another sheet of paper, but I put so much ink into it by practicing that I didn't want to throw it away, <clears throat> so I've glued it on here. I learned this one from one of the Project Pack videos, and it's just simply the Knightsbridge grid and then a little square or in between, and then you connect the corners, and that's called coffered, C-O-F-F-E-R-E-D, coffered corners, okay? And um, again, you can use it as a very simple ribbon anywhere on a pattern. It's very versatile, or anywhere on a tile, rather. All right, if you post your tiles to social media, I would ask you to please use at BBL underscore tangles um, so that I know that you've posted. And I love looking at what you've done. And this is the hashtag. I keep forgetting to show that, so I have attached it to this so that I don't forget. All right. Um, I do want to show you another one that is not in my sketchbook. Let me zoom in on this. Okay, now this is one of the patterns that we've already done. This is Flame Flower. And I saw, I think in the Mosaic app where someone had done this, and they did Knight's Bridge behind their pattern, and all they used to draw it was their graphite pencil. And I thought that was really, really neat. Okay, all kinds of wonderful ideas out there if you just look. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, I saw something similar to this on one of the YouTube channels where a lady was showing the patterns for Inktober ahead of time. Um, Nidhi Prakash, CCT, and I'm not sure that I'm saying that right, but she does great videos. Okay, so I'm just doing some easy lines coming from the corner. Okay, and let's, let's go ahead and put one more. And I'm getting them about the same distance apart. Okay. 
And I'm just doing it with pencil because I want to kind of get it right to begin with. Ease, make this a little bit straighter. Okay, and they're not exactly the same, but it's okay. And today I'm going to use a Micron PN and my graphite pencil and a blending stump, also known as a tortillon. Again, you can do this on any paper that you have and use any pen that you have. The whole idea is to just draw one thing in ink each day. Okay. And I'm going over these with my black pen, with my um, micron PN. And see, I didn't exactly follow my guides, and that's okay. I decided to make that one a little bit shorter, or at least not as wide, not short. And then. I think I'll do this one not quite as wide. And then this is a kneaded eraser. And I just want to remove those extra lines so they don't bother me. All right, so we're going to put our design in here. And the way we're going to do this is with some curved lines. And I'm going to start in this one and work my way across. Okay. Like so. And then I'm gonna repeat that. Here. Going up. We'll get them a little bit closer together as they go up. Okay, and then again, and yes, this is a version of Knight Bridge, Knight's Bridge, sorry. It starts out looking like uh, part of a spider's web. So you can just watch and see what you think before you start drawing. But I think you'll like it. Okay. Now I wanted to do that because I had a space all the way across to do this. And now let's come down here. And Aura again. And then we'll put one here and here. Okay. Now that we've got that done, I'm going to divide it in half again. I just found it easier to do that first. So I'm gonna come straight down the center of each of these. Doesn't matter that they're not exactly the same. If this is your first time to do Inktober, I hope you're having fun. All right, so I'm just gonna pick one of these and go ahead and fill it in. So here's where we start making it look like Knightsbridge. So let's go with this one. And I'm gonna try to do it not too slow, but you are welcome to fast forward if you'd like to. Okay, so one of the things that Maria reminds us when we're doing Inktober is that for the ones that we're filling in, the corners kiss. Okay, so this one goes into that one. So now I know to fill this one in. And sometimes I try to get ahead of myself and when I do, I get in trouble. <laughs> I'm making oops. Okay. So 
This corner touches there. So now let's fill that one in. Okay, that touches that corner. Um, if you have a graphic one, you can use that. Sometimes what I'll do if I have a graphic one is I'll do just the outside of that square like this just to get away from the edge. Because a graphic one has a pretty big tip. Here we go, like this. It's a graphic one. And there's the tip. So I would fill the outside and then come back in with my graphic one to finish it. And I'll usually go over what I've already done with my graphic one because it just makes it more black. It is the same ink, but you're just getting a little bit more ink on there so it fills it in. Okay, maybe you can see the difference there. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my PN. When you have used a lot of ink like that, make sure you keep your hand off of it because it will smear. Give it a little bit more time to dry. Okay, this will look really good when we start shading it. Okay, that corner touches this one. Uh, I have seen uh, Knightsbridge done in a circle. I haven't done that one. Well, actually, I did try. <laughs> it didn't come out very good, so I decided to not try to show it. All right. Do this one. I think my PN might be running out of ink. I hope not. I think it's one of my new ones. Okay, this one. Just take your time. If you are new to my channel, I don't play background music except in the very beginning. And I don't speed up my videos. You're welcome to follow, follow along real time. And if you need to, you can slow it down or speed it up with YouTube controls. Okay? Do what's best for you. Again, I'm trying not to take too long, but also not go too fast for you. Okay. Oh, again, this is day 19. Wow. It's going by fast. Okay, when it gets up here, it gets to where you have just tiny little spots of just... Take your time. 
Doesn't have to be perfect. You might want to switch to Micron 01 up in that section. <clears throat> I think I will. Oh, that's my graphic one. Definitely too big for that section. Okay, so I have switched to my 01. A little bit easier to get into these. Okay, and then I'm not even going to try to do anything up at that very tip. I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Try to fill in some of these areas a little bit. And off camera, I will go over this with my graphic one to fill it in a little bit better. So let's see how we're going to shade this one. This is where it starts to pop. Okay, so this looks like a curve that's going down, or at least it will. And at the bottom of this curve, on each side, we're going to add graphite just on the areas where we did not put uh, the black. Okay, so in this one. And same on here. So it's the outside edge. And then where this curves down, we're going to add graphite. Where it gets kind of small, don't worry about putting much on there. Okay, down on this side. Okay, now we're going to soften that. And we're just going to pull it towards the center line, but not all the way up. We want to keep part of this not colored, not shaded. And that's going to give us the illusion of that curve. Okay. And I'm not putting it on top of the black because it does tend to kind of dull it. And I missed that one and I missed this one. I think I'm losing the tip on this, so I'm going to have to get another one. And I'm just going to put shading down here with what's left on my tortilla. Okay. We don't want a harsh line. We just want it to look like a shadow that's blending up into this. I haven't tried this, but we could see about putting a little bit of white down the center. I don't know if you can see that or not. You know, this is just my what if. I don't think we can see that, so you can skip this part. <laughs> 
And since I did it to one, I'm going to put it on the others. All right. There we go. So that, I think I like it this way. That is Knight's Bridge. And this is called Romanancy, I believe is what uh, Maria called it. And uh, let's look again at what other ones I have. I think this is one of my favorites. So we have those two and this. And again, if you post on social media, please use at BBL Tangles. It notifies me on both Instagram and Facebook. And you're welcome to send me emails with copies of your photos. I love getting those. And I appreciate your comments and your support. And when you hit the like button and share and leave comments, it's very helpful for my channel. And it helps other people to find my channel also. So uh, thanks again. Tomorrow is day 20, and we will have five of our tiles finished. Hooray! We're getting there. <laughs> Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!